Hey evening, this is Bruce and um, welcome to my shop. Uh, what are we, uh, Monday evening, about 8.30 in the evening, something like that. I've had a, quite a busy day. But what I want to uh, show you here, in the background, we've got the mill working, um, is a, a job that I was uh, working on in the last couple of days. Uh, and basically, it's, it's a clamp arrangement that's been made out of two pieces of uh, steel that's been cut, flame cut. Uh, I afterwards trimmed a little bit off here because that was too long. And these these work as a clamp, clamp arrangement around a, part, um, a column. And um, so what I need to do is to machine all, machine all the facets, make it uh, connect, make the connections, I'll show you shortly. Make, make the connections and then machine the hole uh, the hole here to suit the column. Now I've made a uh, made a go gauge uh, and this basically this is a no go go gauge. Uh, that's the size of the column, the standard column uh, which by, uh, is 125 millimeter or four and a half inch um, and uh, I want this to be a neat fit. Now, here lies a problem that um, I proceeded to machine the whole part, make it fit properly, bolt it together, clamped it down in the mill, and did three or four uh, cuts uh, of the, on the diameter with on the mill yesterday. Uh, and this evening I came back to continue on, and then I realised that I'd made a mistake uh, and I was just about to mill the hole out, bore the hole out bigger than what I, I needed and it wouldn't be a clamp effect anymore, it would be a loose fit. And I'll demonstrate that now, I'll just come over and uh, show you that's um, working on the mill at the moment. But that's, it's, it's finished its final cut, I'll just turn that off. actually uh, two of these I've made, I've made I've stacked them together there's two of them joined together here um, and uh, you see that all right yep I'll bring it up I'll take it off the table now and I'll bring it over Of course, we had a ring here we used for, for the lift to make sure that that wouldn't, um, that we, we wouldn't be pulled through. So here we go. I'll push that out. Okay, so there we go, we've, we've finished the machining um, and that should be a very neat fit or even rejection with the go, no-go gauge. So it's, that's pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now, I'll, I'll demonstrate what the problem was. see that. Let's bring that down further. Okay, we'll just lock that up. Take that apart. I can demonstrate this on the single one. On the single one. So what I did was I clamped the thing together 
and I proceeded to machine it. Uh, and I was getting bigger and bigger. And then, I, then when it was going through about the fifth cut, I was looking at it and I thought, there's something wrong here. And that's when I realised that I was machining it to the exact diameter. But I really need the clamping effect. We need, we need a bit of a gap here. So what I did was um, I stopped the machining. I, I made sure that one, one half of it was clamped well down. I put an extra uh, strap clamp in, released off, the, re released off the bolts and introduced two two millimetre, that was the maximum I could use, two two millimetre uh, of these um, shims that, well, that I have. I have a, a swag of these shims, a big box full of them uh, down here. Um, and I put those in, those two shims in, and then closed it up and moved the X table one millimetre, these are two millimetres, so I moved it one millimetre forward and then I proceeded to do what we've seen done now. So um, so even if you think you've got everything 100% under control, there's always that something that may come along and bite you. And if you're not... Uh, you, you, you haven't got that awareness or um, uh, what's that? I could have ended up with having these two basically these two pairs useless um, or I would have maybe had to machine uh, some more out of the gap here in order for them to uh, to clamp properly but I wanted that I need that little bit uh, that two millimeter gap so it, it is going to do that clamping that we want so just a little, uh, just a little lesson. Um, we're, uh, we try to be perfect, but we're never always perfect, and uh, uh, it, it is just one of those uh, things in the in the job shop or the home shop or or whatever you're doing. Really, um, is uh, sometimes you just sort of scratch your head. I can't scratch my head. There's nothing there. You scratch your head and say, to "Hold on a minute. Am I in the right spot here?" So. All the best, and um, don't forget to Barzi uh, Summer Bash is coming along. Uh, we need your support, and uh, we'll be back with more on this particular project um, as as we develop it. See ya.